Today on this 2011 Toyota RAV4, we're going to install part number 118412 from Toretti. First thing we're going to do is open up the back of the vehicle and get to the interior. We have to remove um, the threshold and the floor coverings. We're also going to loosen up the side panels as well. There'll be three fasteners that we have to remove. There'll be two bolts and one bolt for the tie down point towards the bottom. Then we'll use a trim panel tool to help pop the sides away from the body. All right, now we'll go ahead and look for our connection points. The connection points are gonna be right behind the taillights. There's a small tab we have to push so we can remove the connector to the taillight. We'll point it out here, and then I'll take it apart and show you where the tab is to push down. All right, now we'll go ahead and start installing our T-connector. Starting with the T-connector with the yellow wire, we'll plug it into the factory wire harness We'll compare it to them, put them together. Then we'll take the other half and push it back into the taillight. We'll take the other T-connector with the green wire and we'll run it in behind the plastic and over to the other side. We'll slip it behind the plastic and run up to the taillight just like we did on the driver's side. Now we'll go ahead and deal with the white wire with the ring terminal. We're going to peel that away from the wire harness and we're going to sneak it behind the plastic as well and run it down by a threshold area. That way we have easy access to the bodywork that we can ground the white wire. We'll use a self-tapping screw to make our attachment. At this point you have an option of keeping the four pole inside the vehicle or we can go run it to the outside. The back wall there's a round grommet that we can remove to run our four pole through. At the same time, we're going to take the black wire that comes with a kit and run that through as, as well. The black wire will get ran up to the battery. So we'll bundle those two together, pull them on through the opening, and this will come out the bottom of the vehicle. We'll push everything we can all the way through. The module is going to be attached to the sheet metal. We'll go ahead and take a clean off piece of sheet metal on the inside. We'll use some rubbing alcohol to clean it off. Then we'll use the ad adhesive that comes on the back of the module and attach it to the sheet metal. And then we'll go ahead and modify our grommet to reinstall it. We'll take the grommet, cut it with some tin snips to make a slit. Then we'll put the wires through the slit and reinstall the grommet on the wall. all our wiring connections made inside the vehicle, at this point we can go ahead and reinstall all the interior components. Get to the bottom of the vehicle and pull out the wiring from right behind the bodywork. We'll pull it down and we'll separate the four pole wire harness from the black wire. We'll route the four pole wire harness to the center of the hitch.
and then we'll use some zip ties to secure it. Now our black wire, we're going to run up to the front of the battery from here. We're going to follow the factory wire harness by the spring. We'll go over the subframe for the rear axle and continue on up around the gas tank and up to the front of the hood. Next we'll go ahead and run a wire up through the firewall to make sure we stay away from anything hot like the exhaust or anything moving like suspension or engine components. We'll get underneath the hood and pull the wires out from the bottom. We'll go ahead and route it around the fuse box and over to the battery. It's a good idea to go ahead and zip tie the wires to make sure they're tight and out of the way. And one more check to make sure we're not interfering with anything. And then we'll go ahead and attach our fuse holder. We'll cut the fuse holder wire in half and in one end we'll get the butt connector and the other end we'll get the ring terminal. We'll take the butt connector in and connect it to our black wire. And then we'll run the other half to the positive side of the battery. With it attached to the battery, we'll go ahead and install our fuse. Our install is complete at this point. Let's go ahead and test it with a light tester first before we try it on trailer. We'll take a light tester, we'll connect it to the ground pole, and then we'll check the brown wire for running light signal. Next, we'll try the yellow wire, that'll be a left turn signal and then the green wire for a right turn signal. Now our brake signal will be a constant signal from both wires at the same time. Okay, looks like everything works. Now will be a good time to try it on the trailer. And with that, that'll finish it for our install of part number 118412 from Tow Ready on our 2011 Toyota RAV4.